Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a live trade video here. Market opens up here in less than a minute, so I'll keep you posted and do my best to capture some live entries and exits. Market just opened up, so let's see how things play out. Okay, I have an order in at 22.81. Let's see if I can get that filled, and I'll look to just start my accumulation process here. Not sure if it's gonna get down there or not. We shall see. I'll keep you updated. Okay, it did get down there. So I got my first entry point there and I will look to scale out some on a bounce or look to build the build the position. So let's see what happens here with it. I have some orders to sell at 90, 95 and 99. I'd like to try to buy another 500 at 22.51. Accumulate on this pullback move here. All right, got 100 of those shares off. Now looking to sell. That was kind of short-lived. I was hoping for a, a break through 23 on that. Let's see if we can give it another try here at 23 to push up through there. Eh. Oh, bummer. Well, there is a stupid mistake on my part. I put that limit order in there at 2305, and I forgot to cancel that out. So, yeah, it broke 23, uh, but then I sold my shares at 2305 there. So, very costly move on my part. Very costly move. Uh, I did not mean to do that. That should have been canceled. Uh, but, hey, yet another boneheaded move. But uh, let's see if I can trade this one some more. I have an order in here on AAL at 45.51 to try to pick up some shares. Just an absolutely hugely overextended move. Uh, so we'll see what happens here if it can get down that far or not. Um, but you know, want to make sure that it's extra overextended if I get filled. So that's where my current order is. We'll see what happens on this. I'll let it roll. There we go. Starting to get a move downwards. Let's see if it can make its way. Uh, it seems to be getting hung up here around 45. 70. We'll see what happens. All right, I'm in a trade right now. Uh, picked up 500 at 45.67. Uh, scaled out 200 at 45.71. Um, and I'm now looking to build upon that. Just a real modest position right now. Uh, you know, nothing huge or anything like that. So we'll see what happens with it. But like I said, a lot of downwards pressure. It's looking like it's trying to bottom out here. So we'll see if it is indeed bottoming out. Uh, but you don't want to be extra careful with this one. 45.70 now clearly that area of resistance. So we'll see if it can push up through there or not. And looking like it's not, so we'll see what happens here with it. We'll try to scale out some at 45.64. Right now I have an average of 45.69. So still just a very small position. Um, you know, nothing massive or anything like that. But this one uh, certainly has problems right now moving upwards, which isn't shocking. A lot of downwards pressure, but looking like it was bottoming out. So let's see what happens here with it. Again, 59 is the average. OK, 
Okay, trying to bounce up here a little bit. Liking the volume here. So increasing volume, maybe some sort of capitulation. We shall see. I will pause it. I'll keep you posted. All right, it's trying to get up through there again. Uh, got up through. Uh, so now I have 300 shares left. I'm just going to get rid of these. There's uh, better things I can be doing with my time right now um, in terms of stocks. So let's see what else is out there. Traded this one uh, real quick. It was just a, a pretty um, IPO, but not much volatility. It got in and kind of sloshed around. And, um, you know, it's made a move up here, but didn't really, uh, you know, make the move that I was hoping it for it to. So, again, one of those time versus, uh, you know, money things. I'd rather go off and try to find something that's a little bit more uh, volatile so I can pull profits from it. So we'll see what else is out there. It is now 30 minutes into the day. So 30 minutes in, up 138. Um, and I, I guess decent trading. All right, I got filled at 38.01. It, the move was very, very quick. Um, so quick, uh, to be honest, that I'm a little nervous right now with how quick it was. So I'm being kind of extra stingy here. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it was a, a very fast move. And I'm almost wondering if I should, but we could have some sort of capitulation here, but there's just been so much downwards pressure that yeah, I'm gonna just, Let's see, did I get out of those? No. So I'm trying to just scale out a little bit here. Like I said, I have no problem admitting that that move has me a little nervous right now. Big volume here though, so it's making me wonder, you know, is this some sort of bottom? like to see the price bounce up a little bit more here so we can get a better looking candlestick formation okay there we go Trying to pick up, I'll try to pick up some more down here. I mean, this thing's got to be. Shoot, looks like I missed my opportunity there. All right, I'm gonna pause it so this video doesn't get too far long. So we'll, I'll I'll keep you updated. All right, getting a bounce here, looking to sell some shares at 37.95 and 97. Although that could quickly be changing here, just because. I uh, got the nice candle here, so I'm willing to give it a little bit wiggle room here. But if not, um, then you know I'm just not liking the way this is shaping up. So we'll see if it can get back up above 37.90. Like I said, I like the candle that was just formed, so I'm willing to give it some wiggle room here. So let's see if it can you know push back up there. So I got my 37.95s out, got my 97s out. I have 300 left, and I'm just going to take those and take my ball and go home um, could be well but like I said these airlines I'm done with these for the rest of the day just so much downwards pressure on them it's pretty crazy let's see if I can capture one more trade all right I'm short uh, oh great 282 shares um, so I'm just gonna have to let's see if I can all right so that one didn't really go according to plan just because I didn't get the size that I wanted uh, but I'll still take it, 34.50, and I don't know what was that, maybe maybe 15 seconds. So I'll take it, and just uh, kind of give a shout out here. I did not find this one on my own. This actually came from a member in the chat room. Just so you can see Momo overextended on the five minute. So that's what drew my attention to it. So if you're wondering, well, how does your chat room, how does your private trading group work? Uh, you can see right here, like I said, was where the actual alert came from, another member. So I can take no credit for finding that one. Uh, but that is why the chat room has now replaced all my other scanners uh, in terms of what is my favorite scanner to find. 
uh, to use to find stocks. You know, there's nothing better than another living, breathing organism, another person uh, alerting you to things. So um, that's where that one came from. Looking like a, maybe another trading opportunity here. So let's see if I can capture one more trade on this Momo stock. All right, I'm just gonna wrap things up here. Video's over 10 minutes. We are just a little over 45 minutes into the day, $216. Um, so not bad for the first 45 minutes. Uh, we'll see what happens the remainder of the day. But if you enjoyed this video and wanna learn how to trade with charts, shoot, there was a move, <laughs> there was a move I was looking for and I canceled and said, I'll wrap up the video right now. And there was a move. Um, I still got my order right there to see if it wants to pull back. Actually, I should move this up now a little bit more at this point. Um, I could see this going up to, so if I get filled during, uh, as I wrap things up, then uh, we'll watch the trade unfold. But if you're interested in learning how to trade with uh, candlesticks, level twos, all that sort of stuff, I'd encourage you to go to my site, claytrader.com. The great thing about charts is whether you're looking to sell within a few minutes like I am, or a few hours, a few days, a few weeks, charts can be applied to any of those different situations. So keep that in mind. It doesn't have to be uh, only time to use charts is if you're looking to trade you know, and sell within a few minutes. That's not how it works at all. They're very versatile and offer a lot of flexibility. Also, if you're interested in joining my trading group, which I showed you some of the chat room dialogue there, which is where I found Momo, uh, the, the, the stock today, uh, you can go to claytrader.com again and check that out. Very fair pricing, uh, especially when you compare it to you know, some of the other chat rooms and such out there. So finally, the big question I always get is how do I find the stocks that I trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools and such that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could be of value to you, then I'll take you to a slide uh, right when this video is done, but it's looking like I may get filled here. So maybe we'll capture one more live trade. So uh, stand by, I'll see you. Let's see if I can get filled here. All right, not looking like it. So I'm just gonna wrap things up. And like I said, if you're interested in getting that free resource guide, just stand around and I'll, I'll put up a link right now.